So the book of Amos in chapter 1 and chapter 2 uh, really begins with Amos cataloging or denouncing different nations for the sins that they're committing. And if you can imagine yourself being someone who was uh, a part of Judah, where Amos was from, or Israel, the northern kingdom, where he goes to prophesy, and you hear in chapter 1, verse 3, Thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Damascus and for four, I will not revoke punishment. And that pattern, that statement is repeated. Thus says the Lord for three transgressions of Gaza and for four, I will not revoke punishment. And if you're in Judah or Israel, you're there, you're kind of like you're at a game. Yeah, go get them, God. Yeah, punish Damascus, punish Gaza, punish Tyre, punish Edom, punish the Ammonites, stick it to Moab, all our enemies. Isn't it great? God's going to get them all. Woohoo! We're all excited. And then in chapter 2, verse 4, our verse of the day, imagine you're a member of this nation of Judah. Then it says, thus says the Lord, for three transgressions of Judah, what? And for four, I will not revoke punishment because they have rejected the law of the Lord and have not kept his statutes but they have been led astray by the same lies after which their ancestors walked. Whew. You know, in, in modern terms, this would be like those of us who live in the United States hearing God say, well, I'm going to punish this nation and that nation and this other nation that you may perceive as enemies of the United States. And you're there going, woohoo, go get them, God. And then God says, and for these reasons now, I'm going to punish your country. Woof. You can feel how that would hit you. And part of what strikes me is that just the incredibly heartbreaking indictment, they have been led astray by the same lies after which their ancestors walked. Oh, if you think back to the book of Psalms and Psalm 1, uh, that psalm begins about not walking in the path that sinners tread. And yet we hear God condemning Judah because over and over and over, and I'm starting to feel a little bit like a record that skips. Some of you don't even know what records are because you're too young. But those of us who are old enough, we know when records, <laughs> they used to skip if they got scratched. And you feel like a broken record. You hear the same thing over and over. And here it is. God saying to the people, why, why, why would you walk after the same lies? God is a God, first and foremost, of truth. And we need to be people of truth. And we need to walk in the path that God has laid out for us in obeying God's commands and being his holy people who are concerned about things like justice and goodness and kindness and generosity and compassion, as we're going to hear later in the book of Amos. But first and foremost, we learn from chapter 2, verse 4, that just being part of what we think is God's people, we will not be spared God's judgment if we're guilty.